Have you ever felt extremely uncomfortable in your shoes? Maybe your back hurt, or you couldn't walk for long periods of time, or you had to sit down a lot? Hi everyone, my name is Dominic Delfiero, and I'm the sales representative for Allbird Shoes. Now, for those of you who don't know what Allbirds are, they are the most comfortable shoe on the market. They are extremely eco-friendly and have been recognized by Time, Forbes, Refinery29, and Business Insider, and so many more as a must-buy. And they are extremely fashionable and very eco-friendly. Um, so today I will be talking about the comfort of them, the eco-friendliness of them, uh, great gifts, as well as their story and their competitors. Um, some ground rules for today, please hold all your questions until later. So a little bit about the company. They were founded in 2013 by uh, Tim Brown and Joey Zwillinger, and Tim Brown is from New Zealand, where they have, New Zealand has a six to one ratio of merino sheep to humans. So that's where he got the idea of merino wool for shoes. And merino wool is the softest wool, like known to man. Um, it's very temperature regulating, moisture wicking, and very soft, so it's not that itchy wool that you, you know very well. As well, um, Joey Zwillinger was an uh, engineer and a reusables um, expert. So they worked, they worked to tweak the product until it was perfect. And they recently gained $17.5 million in funding. So they, they had a lot of success going into the next round. And um, I think last year they sold 50 million pairs of shoes. So a lot of people are buying. So why buy? Uh, the main thing is their comfort. It feels like you're walking on a cloud 100% of the time. I own a pair, and I can vouch for that. And as well, they're very fashionable. So you can buy them as a gift for your loved ones and increase their, their fashion by 10. Um, as well, very environmentally conscious, made only from um, products, or made only from materials found on the earth. I'll get into that a little bit later. And they recently released something called Small Birds, which is just all, all birds for toddlers and children. And I thought that was really cute. So the materials, the wool from the merino sheep, I was talking about that. It is the softest wool. As well, they, all their laces are made from recycled plastic bottles. They also use castor bean oil to help their, the sole of the shoe become like softer and more comfortable. And they also use all their packaging from recycled cardboard. And the packaging is like two boxes and it folds into one. And it's a really convenient way that like reduces waste. And they also released a new shoe a couple months ago that is made out of tree fiber. And this tree is from South Africa, which is called tensile lysol. And this tree is very cool because it uses little to no waste very little, it minimizes fertilizer and relies solely on rainfall, so no irrigation needed. So very eco-friendly. So about their competition. They are the first wool runner to go to market, so they, they have been tried to, they have been mocked or tried to be copied by companies, but no other company has made a wool runner quite like Albert's. And this has really allowed them to set the price point. So that is why they are $95 per shoe, or per pair of shoes. And it is a little pricey, but they are very fashionable and last a long period of time. And Steve Madden, Nike, Adidas, Puma have all tried to get into the wool, the wool, in, the wool shoe industry. And the wool, Marina wool has increased by, I think it was 700% in the last three years. Um, Allbirds also sued Steve Madden in late last year over these two comparison of shoes. Um, this is the Steve Madden version and this is the Allbirds. So it's an alleged, they're saying that they're copying a signature shoe, but it does look very similar. So I think it's a compliment to Allbirds that other shoe companies want to look like them. They are pioneers in this industry. So today I talked about the comfort of the shoe. I talked about the eco-friendliness of the materials going into the shoe and how they are great gifts. Um, my presentation has proven that there is a need for these shoes, this revo these revolutionary shoes in your closet. Not only are they extremely fashionable, but they also make you feel amazing both physically and mentally. 
I brought forms for you to fill out, and that will be collecting before I leave. Um, thank you so much for listening. Are there any questions? Yes. How do they compare to your regular shoe in terms of um, longevity, life cycle? Are they more um, resistant or less resistant? In longevity, like how long term? Yeah, compared to a running shoe, for example. Yeah, so they're not really a running shoe. Um, they, they're more like a walking shoe or like an everyday shoe. Um, but they, I've had mine for a year, and they've, they're in like perfect shape. Oh, you don't um, with the question.